Good morning, everyone. While the Kharkiv Offensive uh, continues to be at the center of Ukraine war story, there's a lot of bits and pieces surrounding it, and I wanted to, to bring that up today. First, let's start with the offensive itself. So the amount of recaptured territory is changing constantly because this is still going on. We're not done. But uh, based on the latest reports, uh, including, you know, some of the stuff that uh, my parents had access to uh, from within Ukraine, Ukrainian news, Ukraine is now, Ukrainian uh, armed forces are now retaking the border cities. So the, these are the outposts um, at the border between Ukraine and Russia. So they're literally pushing Russian troops out onto the Russian territory. Unfortunately, as with so many liberated territories, they are finding a lot of the cities basically destroyed. Unlike Russian government, Ukraine didn't have to bring actors into the liberated towns and villages and cities uh, because the citizens welcomed them on their own. They didn't need to stage the joy and the happiness and the celebration. That was genuine. Unfortunately, this is still going on. And again, I do not understand why anyone continues to take Russia at their word or take them seriously. Several things to consider from the standpoint of the Russian stance. So first of all, they're saying they're going to continue the war. Second, even as they're citing concerns for the safety of the civilians as they withdraw their troops, they're continuing to shell and bomb civilian sites, particularly the infrastructure, the electric power stations, the power plants, things like that, the roads, that stuff. So basically, unless we wrap this up soon and can start rebuilding and fixing things, they want people of Ukraine to starve and freeze. It's like if we can't take them by weapons, we're going to take them by the, you know, four horsemen of the apocalypse. Okay. In addition, Russia's ambassador to the UN said Ukraine should return to Russia all of the weapons and tanks and ammo captured during the counteroffensive. Why isn't anyone talking about how all that stuff ended up in Ukraine to begin with? Wake up, UN. Thank you for watching.